Hey guys, it's Melissa again. Alright, now I'm here to bring you the review of the products from my Play by Sephora Birchbox and Ipsy of June of 2016. Alright, so I'm going to just put this in kind of, I'm just going to put all the products in just a weird category. But before I begin, if you can subscribe below, I post new videos every week. I don't have a sure day yet, yet, but I will see what I promise. Okay, so let's start with the hair products that I got. <clears throat> so my Playfair by Sephora, I got this BB Don't Blow It by Bubble and Bubble Hair Styler, and I used the whole thing that there's like literally nothing in here anymore. Look, I'm like squeezing it, there's nothing. It was a one-time thing because I do have long, thick hair. And... I wasn't too great about it. In the description, it did say that it was for fine and medium hair types, which I knew it probably would have worked for me because I have thick, curly hair. But I tried it anyways for you guys and for myself, and it was okay. Maybe if you have fine to medium hair, you can use this. Um, I don't think it's best for curly hair. I mean, maybe for wavy and straight hair. I would probably say wavy hair would be the best for this product. And next, now I didn't try the Aura B dry texturing spray because it is like a dry shampoo and I don't need dry shampoos. My hair is not oily at all. In fact, it is dry more than oily. So I didn't use this. I'm actually giving this away. I don't know what to do yet. Um, but just to let you guys know, I'm going to use it so I can give a reveal and I'm sorry. Alright, so... I'm going to go ahead and go in lip products, and this is my Burt's Bee lipstick that I got in, I believe it was Scarlet, Scarlet Soaked. I really enjoy this lipstick, I really do. Um, I found myself having to apply this lipstick um, again after about three or four hours, but I love the formula and I love how soft it is. It has great pigmentation. It's a really great lipstick. So definitely go out and try one. I'm actually thinking about getting a nude color because I just love it so much. Okay, and that was in my Walmart beauty box actually, and I said I would, and I said I would review that for you guys. So there you go. Next up is this Duce Duce um, Bomb Tastic Lash Volumizer Mascara. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correct, um, but here's the wand again. You forgot what it looked like, and I love this mascara. I really do. It's a mascara I use to go out where I want my lashes to be, like really out there. It's voluminous. It's lengthening. It's such a great mascara. I'm definitely gonna think about trying this again. And next up, I have the Atoka um, Florence perfume sample that I didn't use because you guys know if you watch my video on my Play by Sephora unboxing, I didn't like this scent, so I didn't use it. <laughs> I am giving that away too. Alright, and next up I'm going to review the primers that I got. Now one primer I got in my brush box was the Jane Iredell Smoothening Affair. It's a smooth and brightening uh, primer and I use this alone and with my makeup I'm actually using it right now and I would say it's okay I'm not crazy about it it definitely isn't as brightening as the Becca backlight priming filter which I really love this filter filter <laughs> which I really love this primer I got this in my play by Sephora and I love it I'm like halfway through it but I use this with makeup and then I've used it without makeup where I don't where I just put some primer on and I do my brows and mascara and my lipstick and I absolutely love it. It brightens up my face, it leaves a nice glow. I love the Becca one. The Jane Aradzel is okay. Is it worth the price? I think it was $34 or $42. I wouldn't buy it, but you could always try it. Next up I have the Benefit Gimme Brow. And I'm actually using a benef two, benef two benefit products on my eyebrows today. I'm using the Bravo Conditioning Primer and 
the precisely my brow pencil which I got after I went to the benefit brow bar <laughs> and I actually just want to try all their brow, brow products which I probably end up will be because I'm trying out new eyebrow products every single day well it feels like every single day but just to show you again what this little brush looks like I like this I haven't used it in a while though because I've been obsessed with my um, brow pencil from benefit but I would definitely buy this again I would probably buy a shade lighter but I love it and I recommend it definitely yeah, bare minerals bare skin sheer sun bronzer this one you have to shake to get like the product out and to mix it well I haven't used this yet because I haven't tanned my face enough to match my body <laughs> Unfortunately, um, my body is still not too dark where my face is pale white. So I haven't used this yet, um, but I really do like the formula of this and the tint it gives. It gives a really nice tint. I'm just going to show you guys what it's like. So that's when I drop it there. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but it blends really smoothly, and it's such a nice tinty color. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go into the Coconut Nail Art. Um, I actually didn't get this style in my Walmart beauty box, but I went out and I bought two of them because that's how much I love these things. I have Jamberry, and if you know, don't know what Jamberry is, um, they're like nail stickers, and I've used them once. I even have a pair that I haven't used yet since October, and that's when I ordered it. Because it just takes so much more time. You have to heal the nail wrap, and then you have to like put heat on your nail. It just takes so much more time. This is 100% real nail polish, so it's a little bit more fragile than the Jamberry ones. But these you just fit them onto your nails. I don't have them now because I had to take them off for an interview. Um, but you just fit these to your nail and you stick them on and then you file the rest of them off which is actually really easy to use and they last as long as the Jamberry ones do. Um, I always like to put a clear coat over these um, just because they are real nail polish so I always like to put a clear coat. But I did have those on for over a week the ones that I got in my Walmart beauty box and they did a check. I really like them and I got so many compliments from them. People thought that I actually did the designs myself and I was like I wish I was that creative. <laughs> but yeah I found these at my um I actually found these at a Walmart that's two hours from me but I was visiting a city two hours from me so it was really exciting when I found this. Um, it wasn't in my nearby hometown Walmart but you could always order these online at walmart.com. I love these so much. Alright, next I'm going to go into the Seraphim Botanicals blush and this is an Happy Hibiscus and I absolutely love this blush because of the color. I love the color, I love how it's all natural and yeah, it's a great blush. I would definitely buy this again, but I think I have enough for a few months. But I absolutely love this blush. It's such a good color. Alright, next I'm going to... Ooh, I got this blush in my Ipsy bag, by the way. <laughs> next I'm going to go into my Kula um, Face Moisturizer. This I wasn't sure about. I love the way it smells. It has a cucumber scent. I love that it has SPF 30 because that's always good for the summertime because I think it might have broke me out just a little bit but it was okay not the greatest the delectable everything balm by cake beauty and I didn't like this at all it says that you could gloss your lips which you can it was fine but I prefer my glosses way better than this and that it brightens your cheekbones no, not if you have combo skin because it'll just leave your cheekbones leaving more and greasy. And your dark circles, again, it'll just make them look greasy. So I didn't like this at all. It's actually still full, giving that away as well. <laughs> Next, I actually got that Delectable um, by Cake Beauty Everything Balm in my Ipsy and I hated it. <laughs> Next is my Targar Tarte. Tarte Guard sunscreen. As you can see, I used it. 
I like it, but I like my Neutrogena spray sunscreen better because it's just so much faster. But this is great, and I'm still going to use it. If you like suntan lotions, definitely go ahead and buy yourself some of this. Next is the Wish Save Cream that I got in my birch box. I love this. I love the way it smells. I'm not sure. It's just, it smells so good. And the consistency is so nice. It really is. Um, would I pay, I don't even remember, I think it was like $24 for a full size of this. Would I pay that much? If I had disposable, disposable income, yeah, I definitely would. But right now, no. But it was a good, it's good. It's a good shape cream. <laughs> Last but not least, in my Ipsy bag, I got this Honey Day and Night Moisturizing Cream by Hey Honey. As you can see, I used it all up. <laughs> I really like this, and I used it for a good, I think, one, one or two weeks. I want to say two weeks, but I'm not sure, because I used it day and night. Um, and I really like the formula. I love how smooth it was. It wasn't too thick um, or too too watery like this Kula moisturizer is a little bit watery for me and the moisturizer I have now is really thick um, I'm actually using the Devon by Demi um, face cream so that one's thick um, but I love that I love my skin regimen and if you're interested to learn about my skin regimen just leave a comment below and I'll definitely film a video about that because I love taking care of my skin. It's something that I'm very passionate about. <laughs> but yeah, um, going back to this moisturizing cream, I really, really love it. I would definitely buy it. I'm not sure how much it is, but if it was in the price range that I could spend, then I would definitely get it. Oh, and I almost forgot. My Urban Decay Lounge Eyeshadow. I used it once or twice. I love Urban Decay eyeshadows, so I really did enjoy this one. I don't have, I think I have a dupe of it in one of my Wet n Wild palettes. Let me see. I do. Right here. Let me see that. They're so similar. But I love it, and Urban Decay is such a good brand, and it has such great products, so I would definitely recommend that as well. Alright, so that's it for my... Alright, so that's it for my review from my Play by Sephora, Bridgebox, Ipsy, and just a few items from my Spring Walmart Beauty Box. Please, before you go, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Alright, bye y'all!